Welcome to Wild Breakaway alongside Wes Walls. I'm Audra Martin. The Minnesota Wild played just two games in a 10-day stretch. Tonight it was against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the first couple of minutes of this game, they definitely looked like a team that was maybe a little too rested. Definitely had some rust that they needed to knock off. But once they did, it was smooth sailing and they played a very good game. I would agree with that analogy. They came out a, a little bit sluggish, especially the first 10, 12 minutes. And, uh, you know, really felt Devin Dubnik had to play very, very solid in the first period just to get them through uh, the first period. Um, he played outstanding, Devin Dubnik, the whole game, but especially in the first period. And uh, really, as the game went on, Audra, um, the Minnesota Wild skating and speed um, was very, very relevant. And they, they took the play to the, uh, um, to the Pittsburgh Penguins. And, um, you know, hats off to the, to the Minnesota Wild. That was a very, very impressive win against a very, very good team. Well, the 4-2 to two win gives the Pittsburgh Penguins their first regulation loss on home ice. 44 shots for the Minnesota Wild. That's a season high. It was a busy night on special teams for both teams. One power play goal for the Wild, two for the Penguins. But again, like you said, Wes, Devin Dubnik was really just stellar tonight. Here's what he had to say following the big win against the Penguins. Uh, definitely, this is the best I've, I've ever felt. Um, you know, just, just a few things that I worked on in the summer. Um, more things kind of picking up game to game and uh, again uh, it's fun because it's nothing uh, there's no magic uh, recipe that, that needs to happen and, and it's not going to you know it's not going to be perfect all year and I'm going to sit here and tell you that everything is going to go going to go perfect but um, you know a few things that, that I know that I can I can work on and, and continue to do every single night that's going to give me a chance to succeed and uh, you know it's fun uh, fun to go out there right now. Here's a look at what's coming up next for the Wild. The road trip continues Saturday against the Philadelphia Flyers and a quick turnaround Sunday to take on the Ottawa Senators. Then they finally come back home for Tuesday night hockey against the Calgary Flames. Now the Philadelphia Flyers not playing their best hockey, but they've also going or they are going to be playing in their second of back-to-back -back games. So this is a very winnable game for the Wild. They can grab another very big two points. Yeah, and the goal whenever whenever you go on the road is to, is to try to be 500 on the road and getting these these two points in Pittsburgh. Uh, are going to be very, very important. Um, the minute the, this Philadelphia Flyer team, um, statistically, their goaltender's save percentage uh, between the two goalies, Steve Mason and Near Nearwith, are is seven nine or sorry eight seventy five. So they're right at the bottom of the league. So uh, the Minnesota Wild, they should be finding themselves if they pass up shots. The uh, Philadelphia Flyers goaltenders are really struggling right now. So hopefully they can keep this uh, role goal, uh, you know, uh, going on the road. Yeah, well, beating the defending Stanley Cup champions is certainly a great way to kick things off. We'll see if they can keep that momentum going Saturday against the Flyers. We look forward to seeing you then. In the meantime, for West Walls, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us on tonight's Wild Breakaway.